welcome back to my channel. I have noticed that the video volume when I am speaking on these videos is not the best and it's very quiet. It's, we seem to jump from me talking really quietly to really loud music. Um, it's just, it's not good. So I am going to invest in a microphone and hope that fixes the problem because I think it must be something to do with the microphone on my phone. Um, but yeah, I'm very new to this and haven't really got a clue what I'm doing. So I will buy a new microphone and see if that fixes the problem. Fingers crossed. Okay, so progress. Peter Hickman is coming along really, really well. Um, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you will know that I originally chose a image of Peter Hickman on the gas monkey bike. I did the outline and then when it came to the colour I realised that unfortunately the reference image I'd chosen had been taken too far away for me to zoom in enough to pull the detail that I need from the drawing. So um, yeah we, I completely scrapped that idea and chose a brand new image. I also decided that I no longer wanted to do the gas monkey bike. There is quite a few drawings out there of Peter Hickman on that on that bike and I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I went for the Triumph Daytona. This was the winning bike in the Supersport race of the 2019 TT. Peter Hickman won on this bike so um, the main reason I chose it was I haven't seen any other drawing of it and the graphics are just amazing. Really, really cool graphics. I think it'll look just fantastic as a drawing. So that is coming along very well. I have his helmet done. I've got his arms done. The windshield is done. Uh, the number 10 on the front. So I have a full day on that today. I'm hoping to make good progress. But yeah, very, very happy with um, how that's coming along. So, in this video, we are doing my next time lapse in my series of drawings from when I first started. This one was a commission piece and probably one of the most special drawings that I'll ever do. A lovely girl on Instagram called Savannah contacted me to ask if I would draw a portrait of her granddad, Norman Dunn. Um, I'm going to read you Savannah's message, a little bit of background information about Norman and um, yeah, just give you a little bit of information about him first. So here is Savannah's message to me. My granddad, Norman Dunn, raced at the Irish Road Races and also did the TT races from the late 60s to the mid 70s. After moving to the Isle of Man in 1975, he retired from racing and ran a very popular and well-known hotel on the island, the Walpole, with many road racers staying there or calling in for a drink. Tom Heron, one of Ireland's best road racers, who was sadly killed racing in 1979, was a very good friend of my granddad's and wore a very distinctive helmet. That's the helmet that, that is in this portrait. My granddad subsequently wore one of Tom's helmets in every parade lap he did after retiring from racing. So, when Savannah asked me to do this portrait, we were in the middle of COVID and lockdown. So unfortunately, it was a little while before she could get over to the Isle of Man to give him it. And when she did, oh, oh my goodness me. It was so emotional he cried and she sent me a photo of him with the portrait and as soon as i saw it i cried it was it was just such a special thing for me to be able to do to give that to somebody who loved it so much like this this portrait will be passed down through the generations and what an amazing thing to be able to to do 
you know, I draw Rossi, I draw Michael Dunlop. I never ever see reactions like like this one. Um, and just to see what it meant to that family was very, very special to me. Um, so thank you, Savannah, for asking me and trusting me with it. Um, I absolutely loved drawing it and I'm so pleased that Norman was so happy with it. I This photo was obviously taken years ago, so it is not at all high resolution it was quite a poor quality photograph to be able to draw from but I did my best with it and um, Norman obviously loved it so I will show you now the reference image and we will get into the time lapse and then I will show you Norman with his portrait bless him So here is the reference image that I've used for this drawing. Again, this has obviously been taken years and years ago, so the quality of the photo is nowhere near the standard of the ones I'm doing today, but I did make the best of it. A Tom Heron's helmet, as mentioned in the message from Savannah. I don't have the plain outline photograph of this drawing so what I'm going to do is just get straight into the time lapse and then show you the drawing and photo comparisons and then I'll end with the amazing photo of Norman with his finished portrait. to start blubbering again just amazing thank you again for giving me the opportunity to do that for you and um, I'm so pleased that that Norman was so happy with it okay I am going to go and carry on with Peter Hickman now um, updates will come on my Facebook and Instagram later on today I'm sure um, so thank you for watching this video if you liked it please 
give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and I will see you in the next video which is another commission piece if I remember rightly thank you for watching Thank you.